Welcome back to Arby the Bus. Can't wait to see you. We're back here in the bunk room. Working on installing the bunks. Frames, I guess I should say. Mask what off? To the black part? Mask this off and, and oh. repaint these, the heads, and they're gotcha. getting a little boogered up and I gotta clean the walls. And so probably yeah. me. I'm gonna go around, touch up paint anyway. Clean. Um, we need some testers. Well, look at mine! Yep, where are the Valerie's next? Whoa! Oh, Alright, let's go check out Valerie's next. Alright, get up on top. Oh, well, look at how dirty those feet are. Oh, yeah. How cool. It doesn't even move. Put them on it. Bounce around. Testing out the ladder. You have to do a few modifications. You can do it, buddy. I got you. So that's why Derek is holding it. I got it. No, no, no. You do it. You're good. I can do it. You can do it. Yeah, Valerie just did it. There you go. Now hold on. Two hands, two hands. There you go. Come on. You got it, dude. Let's do it. Okay, Valerie's going to go up. I'm great. There you go. Yeah, but you might fall through. Go on the bottom one. You can see how much room I see you right. down there. Peekaboo. Oh, I do. <laughs> Peekaboo. So this is all 16 gauge, no, rectangular steel tubing, all welded together with some, I don't know what these are. Uh, I did all this myself, yeah, by the way. Dana attached all of the boards and I welded it all up. We did this before we went on our trip, but we didn't have time to actually mount it and everything. Yeah. So and then when we we're not to... using it, this thing lifts out and we can put it under the bus or leave it, leave it in it their garage or whatever. And then we have a full thing. Open like that. And then we also have these little guys here. I don't know, maybe we can put a closet rod across them or something to hang clothes. I mean, you could do whatever. I see that in a lot of other coaches. They'll take the bunks and do a, do a curtain rod across and treat it as extra storage for your clothing. So, yeah. we could have that option too. We have an issue with where to hang towels, so maybe we can... Yeah, I'm going to get these little, uh, they're like little circles that sit flush, so they like go into a wall, and then it's kind of like this. It's kind of like this guy. So like you kind of push on them and like a little hook pops out. Obviously it's the other way around, but there's like these little circles that go into the wall. Dana can switch to a little screenshot of them, and we'll probably get a couple of those. Like we'll probably just put one here so that... If you hit the little hook, you can hang a towel here. We hung this while we as in Derek hung that. We put that up there. Hopefully it's far enough away from the toilet so you don't hit your head on there and it's kind of far away. And the towels won't be, a wet towel won't be on the toilet paper. It also won't block the light switch. And then we're looking at this mirror that I've cut myself on numerous times. Probably oh, I got five! I got five! Six! Probably putting it like right here. Just because putting it here, we did the tile. Also, this is like curved. And so it kind of angles down. Like, I I'm looking at my stomach right now. It just really doesn't make sense. And if we put it high, that looks funky. So. I think we'll just, we'll probably just do it like that and that way we have a mirror and that way it's permanently mounted to the wall and we don't have to worry about it, so. Oh, Daddy, 
this was something on our trip that we brought with us the entire way. And set and it out on the counter every time. We'd set it out, it would fall, so we need to get that done. We still have the blue painter's tape on here. We need to put the magnet things. Yeah, it's okay. We gotta finish that. Is this your end of the weekend recap? I guess. Our pocket doors are in. Uh, I'm gonna make a little bracket thing right here that is kind of like an arm that swings down and will block this off. And I think what I'll do is I'll also put another nub right here. And so it'll pivot here and it'll grab this guy and then grab this guy and that will keep the door from moving. And then you can see it's like, we have the little bumpers down here so I don't really have to worry about rattling. And we have big plans for this. Yeah, so coming up next, uh, one of the things that I like is the ability to clean. When we're camping, we realize that there's a lot of dirt that gets brought into the bus, and just having the door open or the window, every campground is just dirt. It gets really dirty in here really quickly, and so what I'm thinking we're gonna do is I have three 10-foot hoses that are like the soft rubber type. So this guy's kind of like hard and he goes against the walls, he kind of bangs up the walls, so I have an orange one. So I have three of those, I have 30 feet. And I'm going to be putting a permanent hookup probably down here on the cabinet. And then add one more switch. Thanks for watching, Arnie That Bus. Bye!